Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Let's lift up our hands as we celebrate the name of the Lord Jesus for this great opportunity that is given unto us. Let's worship him. Let's give him thanks. He's a good God. He's a faithful God. He's mighty. He's awesome. Celebrate the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says it is of the Lord's mercies that were not consumed. For his compassion faileth not. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Celebrate the name of the Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father, we worship you. To you alone be all the glory. To you alone be all the honor. To you alone be all the adoration. I want you to lift up your voice and celebrate the name of the Lord this morning. Worship him for the privilege to be in his presence. Father, we give you thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Heavenly Father, we worship you. Mighty God, we thank you. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. There's no one we can compare you with. You have made the heavens by your power. You have formed the earth and maintained it by your wisdom. We celebrate you for the privilege to be called your children. Lord, we commit this time into your hand. Lord, we ask that you take preeminence in the name of Jesus. Speak to us from your throne in the name of the Lord Jesus. And let your word transform us. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. You may please be seated in the presence of God. Praise the name of Jesus. It is always a great privilege to bring the word of God to the people of God. And it is a privilege that I'm not taking for granted. A privilege given by God through my father in the house. Thank you very much, sir. Today, Today, we are going to be considering the force of faith. The force of faith. The force of faith. You know, when we were in school, there are some courses that the term compulsory courses. And there are some that are elective. The subject of faith is a compulsory course in Christian in the subject of faith is one that Christians cannot do without. In the book of First Timothy chapter 3, verse 9, the Bible says faith is a mystery. It says holding the mystery of faith. It is a spiritual mystery that can be engaged to resolve all the mysteries of life. Either physical mystery, mental, or spiritual. It is a principal instrument for exploits. And it is what turns believers to unbeatable personality. Christian will be and Christianity will be an adventure in frustration. 
without faith and that is why Jesus admonished in the book of Mark chapter 11 verse 22 he admonished us to have faith he said, have faith in God have faith in God it is faith that has color to Christianity as a matter of fact when you are a Christian people will normally ask you are you in the faith are you a person of faith so Christianity Christianity is synonymous to faith. So without faith, there is no Christianity. So why is faith important? Why is faith very important? The Bible says that God has redeemed us from the power of darkness into his kingdom. And that redemption comes with benefits. Your heritage in redemption will only be a mirage without actively engaging without actively engaging the instrument of faith without actively engaging the instrument of faith your heritage in redemption cannot be delivered that is why the bible says in the book of matthew chapter 9 verse 29 that it is to everyone in this kingdom according to his faith according to his faith the outcome of your life is a direct reflection of your faith. So your life in Christianity is dependent on your faith. In the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 17, the Bible says the just shall live by faith. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38, the Bible says for the just shall live by faith. Galatians chapter 3 verse 11, it said the just shall live by faith. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. It said the soul that is lifted up in himself is not upright. But the just shall live by his own faith. So the verdict is out. And the agreement is without faith. Your heritage in redemption cannot be delivered. Number two. Your victory depends on your faith. Your victory depends on your faith. In the book of First John chapter 5 verse 4, the Bible says this is the victory that overcome the world. Even our faith. So no faith no victory. To be victorious in Christ, you must be a person of faith. Number three, faith activates the virtues in the word of God. Faith activates the virtues in the word of God. In the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 2, the Bible says, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. It said, but the word did not profit them. Why? Because 
because it did not mix with faith in their hearts. It is your faith that puts in your hands every of your heart's desires. That is why the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 45, it says, blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. The summary of all of this is this. That nothing absolutely nothing is possible without faith. Salvation is impossible without faith. Healing is impossible without faith. Victory is impossible without faith. So it is important for you to pay attention to the subject of faith. Because the Bible says with faith all things are possible. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So if faith is this important then what is faith? When you say you have faith what does it mean? I'm sure at one time or the other We've all tried to define the subject of faith. But two definitions that I've come across that I love so much. I will give you the two now. The first one says faith is a living force drawn from the living world to create a living proof. Faith is a living force drawn from the living world to create a living proof. So, by this definition, you can quickly figure out whether you are exercising faith or not. They say faith is a living force. It means until your faith delivered, is supposed to be alive. But not only that, the faith that we create a living proof must be drawn from a living world. So as long as your faith is not resting on the word of God, it cannot be termed as faith. Number two, faith is obeying God to prove that you believe in him. Faith is obeying God to prove that you believe in him. So when you say you are exercising faith, there must be something you are doing that is expressing your belief in God. As long as your faith has not triggered an action from you, then it is not faith. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What are the characteristics of faith that can deliver greatness? You know, 2023 has been declared as our year of greatness. And we say for you to experience greatness, you require faith especially in this present day Nigeria but what are the characteristics of the sort of faith that have the capacity to, de to deliver greatness number one faith is a spiritual force 
Faith is spiritual. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The faith of a man is connected to the spirit of man. It is not of the mind. It is not of the body. When we are dealing with faith, we are dealing with something spiritual. The Bible says, in the book of John chapter 4 verse 24, it says, God is spirit. God is a spirit. And it is only spirit that can relate with spirit. So if you are exercising faith, your faith is not of a necessity, something you can see with your eyes. It is something that is not in your mental faculty. It is something that is rooted in your spirit. So faith is a spiritual force. Number two characteristics. Faith sees. Faith sees. But not with physical eyes. It sees the invisible. And it takes realities from revelation. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 27. The Bible says Moses saw the invisible God. Therefore, we ought to give, no, go back, 27, by faith, he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured, as seeing him who is invisible. So faith sees the invisible. Faith sees the invisible. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3, the Bible says, through faith, we understand that the words were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. This invisible force of the world is, is what provoked the visible result of believers. It is the invisibility of faith that puts you in command of the impossibilities of life. It is the invisibility of faith that puts you in command of the impossibilities of life. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So by faith, you are able to paint a mental picture of the future that you desire. You are able to paint a mental picture of the future that you desire. So faith sees but not with your physical eyes. In the book of Romans chapter 4 verses 17 to 19, we saw the account of Abraham. The Bible says even, his, even though his body was dead, he did not give up on the promise of God because he could see the delivery of that promise through his eyes of faith. So the second characteristic of faith that will deliver is that he must be able to see. Number three, faith thinks and it thinks right. In the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 the Bible says whatsoever things are 
true. Whatsoever things are honest. Whatsoever things are just. Whatever things are pure. Whatever things are lovely. Whatever things are of good report. Whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue. And if there be any praise. He said, think on these things. So when you are exercising faith, your thought process, your thought process will determine will immediately tell you whether you are exercising faith or not. So faith thinks because the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, he says, so is. As a man thinketh in his heart. You see, it is important for you to understand this power of faith. Because your thoughts is as loud as your word. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your thoughts is as loud to God as the word that you are speaking from your mouth. That is why the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. It says, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly exceeding abundantly above all that we can ever ask or what? Think. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So when you are thinking, you are bringing up faith. Your faith is, your think, your thoughts is a reflection of the direction of your faith. You cannot think sickness and live in health. You cannot think poverty and live in wealth. You cannot think lack and want and live in abundance. So your thoughts is a guide to the sort of faith that you have. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number four, faith speaks. Faith speaks. And it speaks the unspeakable. It speaks the unspeakable. In the book of Psalm 81 verse 10. The Bible says, open wide thy mouth. And I will feel it. In the book of Acts chapter 14 verse 3. The Bible says, long time abode day in Jerusalem. Long time abode day. Speaking boldly in the Lord. And the Lord was giving testimony. Every word you declare, you are committing God to confirm. That is why the Bible says, as I've heard them say in my ears, it says, So will I do unto you. So the things that you claim to believe, that you cannot speak, you have not believed. If you believe you are healed, when people ask you, how are you doing? You should say what? I'm fine. It's not that someone would say, how are you doing? Say, I'm exercising faith. But this thing, <laughs> you know, to be, to be, you know, they say faith is not denial. So we, we have to be factual. You see, I, I am not well. I am not really well. But they have said that we should not be saying we are not well. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are not exercising faith. The Bible says, it said we believe and we have spoken. 
as it is soldier day. When you believe, to back back ball, you will speak. Oh, not a soldier day. The things that you cannot say, oh, not all the soldier day, the things that you have not believed. Oh, no, to take back bonnie. I was speaking with a friend of mine in London a few weeks ago, you know, and he said, What's it down by you know. Anybody can die at any time. I said, no. I cannot die at any time. He said, I, I'm talking about uh, nothing is certain. I said, that is for you. For me, I cannot die at any time. He said, are you serious? I said, I'm serious. He said, what of all these things that are going on? I said, you can choose to die with whatever is going on. But me, oh, I cannot die anyhow. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you believe it, you should be able to say it. If you are not saying it, you don't believe it. When you are in a place and I say nobody can make it in Nigeria and you join them and you say, ah, this is why we are looking for a visa. You see, poverty is not a citizen of Nigeria. Anywhere you go, he will wait for you at the airport. If you don't know the right thing to say. Praise the mighty name of the Lord and Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You must be able to speak the faith that creates greatness is a spirit speaking faith. The faith that creates greatness is a speaking faith. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Job chapter 22 verse 28 it says you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Mark chapter 11 verse 23 it says as you Say with your mouth. He said, that is what you will see. So you must begin to say what you want to see from today. If you don't want to see poverty, stop speaking poor. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't say it is September already. This greatness self. It is going, it is going. The year has ended. We have not seen anything. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is a God of sudden visitation. Joseph slept a prisoner and woke up as a prime minister. He said, who are you going to compare me with? The Bible says, if it pleases the Lord, it says the sun shall not rise. We are talking about a God that is able to speak anything into existence. So there's nothing you are going through that is beyond God. The reason you are not seeing your change is because you are not speaking correctly. So from today, tell your neighbor, speak right. Speak right. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, what is the faith process? Faith as a process. We have looked at all the characteristics. We have looked at why it is important. So what is the process? How do I activate my faith? What is the process of activating your faith? Number one, through the voice of God. You must diligently receive the word of God. You must diligently receive the word of God. It is not enough for you to hear the word of God. You must hear the word 
from him. Are you listening to what I'm saying? It is not enough for you to hear the word of God. You must hear the word from him. You must hear the word from him. In the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17. The Bible says faith cometh by hearing. But hearing cometh by the word. You see, when we call, we say faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yesterday, the Holy Spirit was saying to me, He said, faith cometh by hearing. But you can only hear by the word of God. It is the word of God that you hear that brings faith into your life. It is not just the word of God. The word of God in your head cannot profit you. You must hear God by yourself. The Bible says in him was life. And the life was the light of men. This light must enter into your heart. Because the Bible says the light shines in darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend it. The word of God inside your heart that you have heard from God is the only thing that can change you. Do you know the reason why people come to the church? They hear the word of salvation and they go back on sin. Do you know why? They have heard the pastor preach but they have not heard the word from God. That is why when pastor is teaching and he speak on issues that border on your life, maybe you are stealing and then there is a word from the author that says stealing is bad. How you will know whether you have heard the word from God or you have just heard the word of God is your interpretation of what you have heard. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When I say elders don't keep malice, and you say, ah, it is because he knows I'm killing, keeping malice. When I say, don't commit adultery and I say, ah, it is because he saw me the other night. You have not, you have heard the word of God, but you have not heard the word from God. It is the word you hear from God that has the cap capacity to change you. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 29 verse 4. Psalms chapter 29 verse 4. The Bible says the voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But how do you access this voice? Verse 3 of that same chapter 29. It said the, the voice of the Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. It said the Lord thundered. The Lord thundered. The Lord is upon many waters. What water are we talking about? In the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 26. The Bible says that in my sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. So we are talking about the word of God. You have seen professors of theological studies. That is suffering badly under the oppression of the devil. It is not for the lack of the word of God. 
it is for the lack of the word from God entering inside his heart. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. People will carry the word of God and sleep on it. People will even write dissertation on the word of God. On how the word of God can change the man's life from poor to rich. And there is nothing that is demonstrating worth so in their life. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So the word of God you have in your head is not just by quoting scripture like parrots. It is by hearing the voice behind the word. So the voice of God is what built faith inside of us. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, next time you carry your Bible, as you are reading the word of God, don't just read the letters. Ask for encounter. Ask for what? Be able to hear the voice of God behind the word. Because you cannot hear the word of God and remain the same. In the book of Acts, the Bible says Saul was going to Damascus. The Bible says, and there was a great light. Saul was not the only one going to Damascus. So all of them going to Damascus were unbelievers. But how many people got saved from that encounter? How many people? You don't know. Only Saul. Why? Only him had the voice. Only him had the voice. The other people saw the light. They They saw the demonstration of the power of God. Because the Bible says they all fell down. They all saw the form of the light. They all saw the form of God. But only only one person saw the substance of the light. So, you reading the word of God, you are only looking at the form of God until you encounter the substance of what you are reading. Faith Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number two, genuinely believe the word in your heart. Genuinely believe the word in your heart. You see, every word of God you receive has one mission to transform your mind. Every word you hear, there's only one mission. Is to change your belief. If you can change your belief, you can change your life. If you cannot change your belief, you cannot change your life. So the word of God you receive in your heart will have the capacity to change your mind. In the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 2, the, the Bible says, that we should constantly renew our minds. He said, do not be conformed to this world. He said, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You see, when you got born again, it was your spirit that got born again. It was your spirit that got changed. Your mind and your body. They are not born again. No. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is why the Bible says you must not begin to reveal your mind to the word of God. The more of the word of God you accommodate in your mind, the more your belief system change and the more your life begins to reflect Christ. That is why you can be born again and still be carnal. Because your mind 
was not born again when you became born again. It is only your spirit that got born again. Your mind and your body, they remain the same. So you must constantly receive the word of God into your heart so that it can transform your belief. So that it can transform your belief. So that it can transform your belief. If you don't change your belief, you can be a pope. Your life will not change. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is why Jesus asked that man. He said, do you believe that I can do this? He said, yes, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. As long as you live in unbelief, your faith cannot deliver. So your first contact with faith process is that you receive the voice of God, let the voice of God enter into your heart to transform your belief. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number three. Number three. You must committedly declare the word. You must committedly declare the word. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 14, 4 verse 13. The Bible says, we, says we having the same spirit of faith according as it is what? Written. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We hear the voice of God. We allow the word to go inside our hearts. It transforms our belief. And then according to the things that you have received inside you that is written. You now declare. You now begin to speak. What are we talking about? Faith process. How you build faith. How you make your faith to work. How you walk your faith into greatness. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have to declare what you believe. You have to declare what you believe. Your word, your word, is the appropriate your word is the appropriate fatometer have you heard that one before fatometer you know fatometer Who, the doctors are they here you know if you want to test your temperature what do you use Thermometer. Thermometer. Uh -huh. So when you want to test your faith, you use fatometer. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So the word of your mouth <laughs> is the appropriate fatometer <laughs> to measure your level of faith. <laughs> so when I'm speaking with you, I can adequately measure where you are in terms of faith. In terms of faith. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are some people here from Monday to night one word of scripture will not come from their mouth. They will only talk about what they see on CNN Ajazira uh, which one again? TikTok, uh -huh, thank you. Which one again do you listen to? Uh -huh. All of those ones. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is someone suffering from headache. All he will be watching is TikTok. TikTok. And a jazira. At a jazira. No word of scripture that will proceed from their mouth. They 
talk about what is happening in Nigeria. Not about what is happening in their own kingdom. The Bible says we are ambassadors of Christ. We are not of here. Regardless of really? happening to the economy where you are, your own economy is in heaven. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you think it's easy in UK, carry your load and go there now. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You better inquire from the Lord before you just carry your load and just go to Australia. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have to speak the word. And that is why the Bible says in the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. It says, let, let the word of God dwell richly, 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 inside of you. Because it is the word that is inside of you that will come out when you are challenged. Eh? Have you entered public bus before that is about to get involved in Accident. That is where you will see what your church member believe in. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have to declare what you believe. You have to declare what you believe. So you encounter the word. You keep the word in your heart and then you declare it. Number four, dedicatedly obey the word. You have to dedicatedly obey the word. In the book of James chapter 2 verse 26, the Bible says, as the body without the spirit is dead, it says, so is faith without work, is dead also. You see, faith is not a substitute for work. Faith is not a substitute. You must be able to work your faith. If you believe that God has given you employment, don't still be in bed time to wear at 11 a.m. in the morning. You say, where have you not done anything? I'm I'm believing, believing God. And you are still time to wear at 12 a.m. in the morning for crying out for Jesus' sake. Full grown man. Some even have children and wives. And you are Lazing about at 11 a.m. And then you carry Bible on Tuesday. 11 a.m. You don't have work. It's Bible. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, whatsoever your hand findeth in do it well. When, if you believe that God has given you a job, just like someone going to work and go out, praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you believe God has given you children, behave like someone with children. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When people ask you, say God has done it. Eh? God has done she. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God has done it. And because you are declaring it, the Bible says the word became flesh and it dwell among you. But the word that you will not speak, the word that you will not walk, cannot work for you. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So you have to behave your belief. You have to behave your belief. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If your belief is that you are healed, don't lie down. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If your belief is that you are rich, don't behave poor. It is poverty that will make you go to party. 
and be hiding coke inside your bag. <laughs> coke inside bag. I need to make a lossy day to my coffee. Oh, no, we shall let you go to Pamosina for air. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says God has redeemed us as king and as priests. Imagine you go to a party. You now saw our daddy, daddy Didio. Didio. They serve him mortal Guinness. He now put the mortal Guinness and put it inside his pocket. He look right, look left. And now tap mommy and say, let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He has redeemed you as kings and as priests. Anytime you want to behave, ask yourself, will a king behave like this? Will a priest behave like this? Some people will even carry rice and put it inside nylon and put it inside their white pockets. Rice with oil. May God have mercy on all of you. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Behave your belief. Behave your belief. When people see you, let them see your belief. When people contribute money and put in your pockets, and they said, can I have your, the money? And you start a pistol according to Paul. It's not reflective of the life of Christ. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you are now said, I am working in faith. On someone else's money. You are rich in Jesus' name. With the money that they contributed in your pocket. For function. Function day has now arrived. You are now telling the story of Methuselah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Behave your belief. Behave your belief. We have to close. Number five. Excitedly celebrate the word. Excitedly celebrate the word. In the book of Psalm 106, verse 12. Psalm 106, verse 12. The Bible says, then believe they is what? They sang his praise. If you believe the word of God, you will sing his praise. There are certain days that you will just, you will, I mean, you will just be happy for no reason. Joy will just come, will just well up from inside of you because of the faithfulness of Christ. Recently, you know, I've been studying the book of Isaiah and Jeremiah. You know, and all of a sudden, it just became very real to me that the God that made the heavens and the earth, I know before, is inside of me. The God that when they carry him and put him with Dagon, he did not do anything, no. Dagon fell down. Broke, break, broke everything. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I have been walking around with extra, you know, people will call it arrogance. But it's just the belief that, just knowing inside of you, that this God is inside of you. The God that walked, that walked by the rest and the rest he parted. The, the word that spoke the entire world into existence. Is inside of you. In the book of Psalm 110, verse 5, the Bible says that God is continually on my right hand to protect me. To protect me. To protect me. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number six, steadfast determination. 
steadfast determination you take a stand and you will not shift your ground if you are walking in faith and you have seen it in the word of God you take a stand and you will not shift your, your ground. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, Ephesians chapter 6 verses 13 and 14, the Bible says, have you done all to stand? Now stand on your feet and begin to give glory to God. Celebrate the name of the Lord Jesus. You have to stand and be determined that what God says must come to pass. You will not give up until you see the results. You will not give up until you see the things that have been written concerning you. And as you stand, God will honor your stand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.